Thanks, Aaron. You'll watch this with great interest, I'm sure. The first of its kind car crash response simulation in Tennessee. And this is really interesting. Fox 17 Samantha Singer live this morning at Tennessee Highway Patrol Training Center to show us all how it works. Samantha? Yeah, this is the first track like this in the country. It's traffic incident management. They've set up a crash simulation here and what they do with uh, all different first responders here in Tennessee. They come and learn how to safely respond to these crashes. We're going to show you how that works in 30 minutes, but first I do want you to know that Tennessee is the first state in our entire country to have the highway patrol using crash analytics software to predict where serious or deadly crashes will happen in our area. I rode along with a highway patrol trooper to show you how it works. Cell phone. And with the number of distracted drivers he sees, this is a surprise for Sergeant Anthony Griffin with the Tennessee Highway Patrol. Saving lives and saving families from, from heartache of uh, the serious injuries and of, you know, of possibly having a loved one killed in a crash. That is the reason Sergeant Griffin says THB is using new technology to predict where serious or deadly crashes might happen, putting troopers ahead of the game. And that hot spot there where you can see it's, it's, it's a shade of red. And basically you pull it up and you would see four hour blocks totaling 24 hours and you would see that between 4 o'clock and 8 o'clock p.m. on today's date there's a 58 percent chance of a uh, possible significant crash occurring in that particular area so what we would do is we would deploy troopers to that area and you know hopefully either either be sit stationary obviously run traffic enforcement and hopefully get a reduction in, uh, in traffic crashes on that particular day during that particular time. The software combines statistics on crash history, sporting events, festivals, weather, even places that sell alcohol. It helps us make more informed decisions about uh, where we need to put ourselves in order to reduce these serious crashes. And once they're there? Would be sit in the median, uh, conduct traffic enforcement, uh, stationary observation. You know, just being stationary sometimes is almost as effective as doing the actual enforcement itself because you're visible. THB Colonel Tracy Trott says that the number of deadly crashes in Tennessee is down 8% and troopers are doing more DUI and seatbelt enforcement than any other year. Sergeant Griffin says giving someone a ticket for not wearing a seatbelt proves to mean something more than just another day on the job. She, with conviction, believes that it absolutely saved her life. The sergeant is talking about a young woman who he encountered twice in one day. You, you issue a traffic citation and for for someone not wearing a seatbelt, which obviously helps keep them safe. And then here it is four hours later, had she not been wearing it, there's no question that she would have been seriously injured, if not killed. And so to see the fruit of your work in a situation like that, um, it absolutely makes you feel good and it makes you feel like you're making a difference. And they're only going to keep improving and perfecting their new technology. Well, the bottom line is that we're preventing tragedies. We're preventing troopers from having to go to homes and knock on their door and tell a mother or a father or a wife or a girlfriend that their loved one's not coming home. Now, THP is just scratching the surface on this crash predictive software. They hope in the future to have you being able to use it where you can pick where you're going to be driving, see if it's an area that might have had serious crashes or deadly crashes, maybe if you want to avoid it. We will let you know if and when that becomes available. But coming up in 30 minutes, we're going to show you, okay, this is just a simulation of a crash. We'll show you how troopers are training to respond safely to these crashes. I'm live here on the traffic incident management track here at THP Training Center. Samantha Singer, Fox 17 News. All right, Samantha.